Islam, yes, they are allowed according to Islamic teaching. And Nabi alayhi salatu wa sallam, there's a narration that the Prophet said that seeking knowledge is compulsory upon every Muslim, male and female. Even some scholars differ about this hadith, but the meaning is correct. So allowing your daughters to study and seek knowledge is something which is recommended in Islam. Ummuna Aisha, she was a scholar of Al-Islam. So uh, people have to understand that in Islam, we don't oppress our women or we prevent our sisters or our daughters to study and learn. Rather, we encourage Islam, encourage women to study and seek knowledge and learn. So... Uh, because I've heard people speaking about Taliban. Taliban is not a, a, a group or, or, or a country or, or, or a, a people that implement or represent Islam. Islam is the Quran and the Sunnah. No one represents Islam. If you want to see what Islam says, go back to Quran and the Sunnah. So, but what, what is very interesting here shows me the double standard, the hypocrisy of the, some feminists and some of the people in the Western world. You have problem with well, Allah knows best, but they say Taliban stopped women from going to universities and studying and seeking knowledge. If this is the case, how come you have no problem with the French? The French have stopped the Muslims, women, from seeking knowledge and going to get education because they want to cover themselves. That shows us the double standard hypocrisy of some people. Why don't you care about the Muslim women in France?